His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued six edicts for the year 2013. Edict number 32 accredited and approved publishing the 17 revision reports issued by the Qualifications and Quality Assurance National Authority for Education and Training on the schools and higher education institutions' performance. Edict number 33 formed the National Committee for the World Trade Organization, chaired by the Minister of Commerce and Industry. His Royal Highness also issued Edict number 34, appointing Major Sultan Al Ghatam and Major Issa Al Sulaiti as directors at the Ministry of the Interior. Edict number 35 appointed Mr. Hassan Al Sati as Director of Information and Follow up in the Southern Governorate. Edict number 36 appointed Mr. Naeem Al Qatani and Mr. Mohammed Al Suedi as Directors at the Ministry of Human Rights Affairs. His Royal Highness also issued Edict number 37, appointing Mr. Ibrahim Ahmed as Director of Monitoring and Livestock Health at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa deputised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to lay the foundation stone of the East Head Housing Project. During the ceremony, His Royal Highness said that the project is a major step in Bahrain's developmental progress led by His Majesty the King, adding that it's a continuation of the Kingdom's accomplishments that the government has worked on achieving, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed his eagerness to arrive at integration in implementing all plans and doubling comprehensive development with the aim of bettering citizens' living standards out of patriotism and a commitment to equality and sustainability. He pointed out that the spirit of Bahrain is the spirit of hard work and hope which reinforces stability and preserves unity with GCC countries. During the ceremony, the Minister of Housing, Bassam al Hamar expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for patronising the event, which embodied his constant care regarding the issue of housing. He pointed out that 270 hectares project includes around 4,500 housing units and is considered one of the most strategic projects that will contribute in meeting Maharik's housing demands. Halal Al Thawadi made a speech on behalf of the beneficiaries of the East Al Hid housing project. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for patronising the ceremony, which delighted the families of the project's beneficiaries that will be provided with decent living standards.
Then His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, accompanied by the Housing Minister and Muharraq's Governor, examined the model of the project and was briefed with regard to the government's housing programme. His Royal Highness then laid the first block of the project's foundation stone for the East Al Hid housing project. BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received at the BDF General Command today a number of BDF Major Generals for attaining the second degree Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa seal. His Majesty the King issued a royal decree amending the degree of the seal in appreciation of BDF's officers' efforts in serving the Kingdom. On the occasion, the BDF Commander-in-Chief conveyed His Majesty the King's appreciation and good wishes to the senior officers to achieve further progress and prosperity in Bahrain's military. Field. He congratulated the officers, praising their achievements and role in defending Bahrain's accomplishments and historic gains. He also wished them success in their military career in serving the kingdom. The Council of Representatives held its weekly meeting today, chaired by the first deputy of the Council Speaker, Abdullah al Dosri. The Council condemned Iranian interference in Bahrain's affairs and the offensive threats that contradict all international norms and conventions. 
The Council called on the international community to put an end to such repetitive interference which affects Bahrain's sovereignty and stability. The weekly meeting also discussed copyright protection law in addition to a letter received from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding the recommendations on the decision of extending governmental secondary schools working hours. The representatives also discussed regulating retirement pension for government employees in addition to reviewing a proposal to amend some of the provisions of the 1963 Bahraini Nationality Law. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, sent official letters to the United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki moon. The European Union's High Representative for Security and Foreign Policy, Baroness Catherine Ashton, the Secretary General of the League of Arab States, Dr. Nabil Al Arabi, and to the Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Professor Ekmeladin Ishan Uglu, clarifying the recent hostile and blatant threats made by Iran's Deputy Foreign Minister for African and Arab Affairs, Amir Hussein, against the Kingdom, which are considered as direct threats and unacceptable interference in its internal affairs, constituting a behavior that is unprecedented in the relations between states. The minister affirmed that such statements went beyond the rules of international diplomacy and international relations and clearly reflect Iran's expansionist ambitions over an Arab state and member of the United Nations, the League of Arab States, the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The Foreign Minister also expressed his full confidence that the international community will take these threats and their implications into serious consideration so as to entrench and promote the principles of the United Nations and international law which uphold the sovereignty and independence of states, including non-interference in their internal affairs and their keenness on maintaining the principles of good neighborliness and mutual respect for national sovereignty, as well as the spirit of peace and understanding as a basic rule that must be promoted in relations between countries. The Minister of Human Rights Affairs, Dr. Salah Ali, met with Moroccan Ministerial Delegate in charge of human rights, Dr. Al Mahoub Al Heba, during an official visit to the Kingdom of Morocco upon the invitation of the Moroccan government to review the country's human rights experience and exchange expertise in this field. Dr. Salah Ali hailed Morocco's official and public supportive stances towards Bahrain's human rights efforts, saying that the Moroccan experience in this field is worthy of studying. He also reviewed with the Moroccan official the latest developments in Bahrain and how it contributed in modernizing Bahrain's human rights system. He expressed eagerness to enhance cooperation between the two countries in this field, saying that the Moroccan experience is internationally praised. For his part, Moroccan ministerial delegate in charge of human rights hailed Bahrain's bold reforms on the political, legal and developmental fields. He spoke about the Moroccan experience in transitional justice and the method of creating the needed environment for the Commission for Truth and Justice established by the Moroccan monarch in addition to the Moroccan human rights strategy. The Minister of State for Communications Affairs, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, paid a visit today to Betelco's Network Operations Centre and Customer Services at Salmania. Upon his arrival, the Minister was received by Betelco's Chief Executive, Mr Rashid Abdullah, and a number of officials and employees who briefed the Minister on the Centre's duties, activities and services aimed at solving technical problems. Sheikh Fawaz also visited the Mobile Phones Network Customer Services Centre and the company's data centre, during which he viewed the workflow as well as the development provided. He praised the essential role played by Batelco since its establishment in supporting and developing the telecommunications sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain, expressing his appreciation towards its role in serving Bahraini society through providing charity and donations for health centres, institutions of social, sporting and educational activities. For his part, Batelco Chief Executive Mr Rashid Abdullah expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to the Minister of State for Communications Affairs for his visit, asserting Batelco's keen interest to provide the very best telecommunications services for customers in the Kingdom. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, dedicated the achievement of Bahrain athletics team to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of winning the gold and silver medals in the 10,000 meters men's race and the silver and bronze medals in the 5,000 meters women's race in the first day of the 18th Arab Athletics Championships in Qatar. 
He alluded the role care and generosity enjoyed by the sports movement in the kingdom from His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa also congratulated Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praising his support and encouragement to achieve more success at local and international tournaments. In a speech on the occasion of Arab Energy Efficiency Day, which is marked on the 21st of May each year, Minister of State for Electricity and Water Affairs Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Al Mirza said that Bahrain seeks to improve energy efficiency and water conservation and the preservation of vital resources in the kingdom. He also said that Bahrain is seeking the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions resulting from the burning of fossil fuels used to produce electricity and water. The minister stressed the kingdom's pursuit, represented by the Electricity and Water Authority, is accredited to the government's initiative in establishing a national centre specialising in improving energy efficiency and renewable energies.